Hello friends. Welcome to my new data structures and algorithms in Java tutorial series video. Friends. In this tutorial we will discuss, how to insert node at the end of linked list in Java. Let's insert node at the end of a linked list shown in slide. Below is the algorithm for this. Let's see working of it through a demo. Step 1 creates a new node having data as 15 and next node points to null. Moving further. In order to insert new node at the end, that is just after last node. We need to traverse list till last node. For that we create a temporary list node variable, by name current. And point it to head. Third step is to execute few steps in a while loop. The while loop executes till current nodes next is equal to null. It simply means, when current nodes next becomes null, current node points to last node. In while loop, first, a check is made whether current's next is null or not. Currently, current node points to head, whose next points to second node, which is not null. Thus, statement in a while loop executes. Here currently, current node points to head, and current's next points to second node. Thus, while loop statement assigns current's next node to current. That is, it traverses current node to second node. Now again it checks for while loop condition. Current node points to second node, whose next points to third node, which is not null. Therefore it again executes statement in a while loop as demonstrated. Current now traverses to third node. Now again it checks for while loop condition. Current node points to third node, whose next points to null. Thus, current's next is equal to null. Therefore while loop condition fails, and loop terminates. This signifies that, current has reached at the last node of linked list. Final step would be, to just update the next pointer of current node, that is last node, to point to the new node. Let's move to Eclipse and see it's working through code. Usually, interview question would be, given list node head, and integer data, insert data as a node at the end of linked list. In singly linked list class, we create a method by name, insert at end. This method takes in head node and integer data. This method returns back head node, after inserting node at the end of linked list. Let's code in method what we demonstrated in the slide. First, let's create a new list node, with the integer data provided as argument in the method. It simply calls parameterized constructor of list node class. Thus, creating an instance of list node, with data passed to constructor, and next pointing to null. Moving further. We make a check that, if head is null, that is if list is empty, then simply return newly created node, as there are no elements in list, and new node is the head itself. Moving ahead. In order to insert new node at the end, that is just after last node. We need to traverse list till last node. For that we create a temporary list node variable, by name current. And point it to head. Next. We create a while loop with a condition that, it should execute till current's next node becomes null. It simply means, when current node's next becomes null, current node points to last node. And we require pointer to last node to insert node just after that. Moving further. In while loop. We assign current node to current's next. That is, we traverse current node to its next. Next step will be, to update current's next reference to point to the new node. Thus, we inserted node at the end of linked list. Just return head node. This head node will hold linked list with inserted data at end. Let's test its working. In our previous tutorial, 
we created a linked list with four nodes. Let's use it. Instead of insert at beginning. We call insert at end method, by passing head node, and data as 15 to it. That's it. Let's run this Java program. You can see, on first line it prints, 10, 8, 1, 11 as nodes of linked list. On second line it prints, the same list having 15 inserted at end, that is just after 11. Thus, in this tutorial, we saw insertion of node at the end of linked list. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to insert node at the end of linked list, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.